when I saw this, I thought, in the name of the wee man, this is some story, and it is this. Uh, a mother gives birth to a £11, 5 ounce baby, the same size as a bowling ball. And I thought, holy fucking shit, what is going on? Eleven and a half, eleven pound five ounce, almost eleven and a half pound. Now I was what eight pound four. I was a big baby because remember my dad phoning my grandpa. And he's like, how, how heavy is he? He's like, he's eight stone four. And he's like, what? I went, uh, eight pound, eight pound four. But this win, eleven pound five. I don't know if the mother is still with us. I I, I hope to God that the, the way was cut out the sunroof because look at the size of that way. That is a fucking unit. What a Bloody baby, that is. That's a monster. A monster. £11, 5 ounce win. Jesus Christ. Now, is this global warming? Is this GM Foods? What is this? Because it felt as if there was a time, maybe like five, six years ago, when all these wains were coming out and they were totty. They were the size of a pea. And then a big 11 fucking pounder comes along. <laughs> and I, I like the way it's all though, the, the, the reference is the size of a bowling ball. I mean, that kid's going to grow up to have <laughs> some issues anyway. Um, I also don't know where this is from. The baby, I mean. I know where the story's from. So the Metro. So it's the only place to get news. I feel as if this is either going to be an American thing or Eastern Bloc. The, the women out there are diff a different breed. Strong like bear. Like Geordies, you know? And I imagine if anybody's going to fire out an £11 plus baby, it's an Eastern European. Helen Sellers, Helen Sellers, 34, gave birth to her daughter, Celia, five weeks ago, who weighed a whopping £11.5 ounces. Holy shit! The mum of two, a mental health nurse, a mental health nurse, she's going to need some counsel after that, even said that Cecilia was one of the biggest babies her midwife had ever delivered in 16 years. I mean, that is a claim to fame. I suppose, and this is the thing, because you have big babies and you have wee babies and they grow up to be the opposite. You can have big babies that grow up to be wee people and wee babies that grow up to be big people. So just because you're a big baby doesn't mean you're going to be a big person, right? I was your standard baby and I'm fucking massive. So it doesn't really matter, right? But if you're going to, if you're going to be born... I suppose you maybe do want to break some records, you know? Yeah, I imagine as a father you want to be handy to your child and for the midwife to go, that is the most beautiful baby I've ever seen. Or they hand it and go, in my, all my time, 16 years on the tool, son. That's the biggest bastard baby I've ever seen. That's probably what you want to hear. Again, it's the, it's the stupid nature of the, of the male mentality. Right, you probably, as a man, you're like, oh, damn right, fucking father, the biggest bastard baby ever. My wife will never walk again. She's completely lost her legs, but what the size of weight on her? £11.5. Uh, Celia's brother, Roman, uh, he weighed £9, fucking big boy. Uh, and Helen, uh, husband, what? And Helen and husband Carl, 37, were both under £9, right, standard. Helen from Leeds, they're UK, they're English. Uh, said Carl, six foot seven, in the name of God, uh, but he wasn't a big baby, so I'm not sure why Cecilia was so big. Oh, I suppose, man. Huh? Uh, well, I was pregnant, my consultant said the baby was going to be big, but not as big as Roman. I never expected her to be that weight. We played guest the weight with the family, and my cousin put 11 pounds, and I thought that was cheeky, but he was right. Cecilia had to go straight into the oh my God. The baby, Celia, had to go straight into not to three month old clothes when she came into the world as none of the newborn clothes would fit her. Oh, the wee lamb. I'd bought a couple of baby grows um, that were up to one month and I didn't even bother getting them out the pack at Helen's and I knew they wouldn't fit her. In just five weeks, she's already in three to six month clothing and Cecilia's large size also impacted Helen's labour, meaning she had to have a cesarean. Thank God for that, Helen! Now listen, the 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 birth of the miracle of childbirth astonishes me and terrifies me, terrifies me. I don't I don't understand these people who are and I, and I, obviously I'm not, I'm a man. I'll never understand the joy of of childbirth, but I've done a couple of Guinness shakes in my time, so I feel your pain. I don't get this whole thing of I want a natural birth. I want to shake it in a bubble bath of water, smelling salts and looking out on the fucking swinging baskets of Babylon. Fill yourself with as many drugs as possible. And if they offer you a sunroof, cut the bastard out. Cut it out. 
There's no, there's no heroes here, love. You're, you're, you're no, what, you might get an extra chocolate biscuit for firing out a £11 baby. Fuck that. Uh, Helen and the mother said, I had to have a C-section and it took them ages to get her out. They, no wonder. No wonder. They're probably having to move every fucking organ in your body. Cut your spine off to get an £11 baby. They probably had to get a winch in. I imagine the, the, the midwife's sent somebody out to get her husband his mechanic. And he brought in one of the winches that lifts fucking engines at a Ford uh, Corsa. A Ford Corsa, a Vauxhall. Oh, come on, Scott. A Ford. <laughs> I was going to say a Ford Cortina. I'm like, how old's that reference? Some guy in fucking oil overalls. And he's just got the, the mask on covering his face. Right, let's get this chain up now. An 11 pound baby in the name of Christ. I initially wanted to try a natural delivery. I bet you did, Hen, but I'm glad I didn't. Obviously, because you'd have fucking ripped your legs off. You're an asshole with a windsock. <laughs> she says, I'm not sure it would have come out. It wouldn't have come out. They had to have fucking rip both your arse cheeks off to fire at an 11 pound baby. Here we go, this is a good bit. The record for the heaviest baby in the UK, here we go, is held by Guy Carr who was born in 1992 at £15.8. Holy shit! <laughs> £15. How many? Hold on. How many pounds are in a... There's £14 in a stone. He's a fucking stone. He's one, he's one stone. Somebody gave birth to a one stone baby. One stone, one pound. Holy shit! Did the woman survive that? Guy Carr, 1992, £15.8. He too was delivered by C-section. Obviously. Although George Joseph King was born in 2013 at £15.7. Gee, oh my God. Is the largest to be delivered naturally? What the fuck? That woman delivered a £15.7 baby with a natural... Bu- oh my, oh my. Give it, Listen. See all this bullshit about footballers getting fucking uh, peerages, knighthoods and everything. That woman should be given a knighthood. All of the women. If you have delivered a baby, naturally, that is £15.7, you should be given the keys to a city. You, you, should, you should be a superstar. You shouldn't pay tax the rest of your life. You, you, should, you should be given a free house and a, and a knighthood. You should be a dame. Put her in the house of lords. Instead of the fucking oligarchs that are uneven and standard. If you have delivered a baby that is £15.7, you shouldn't have to fucking work a day in your life. I don't imagine she does work a day in her life. I imagine she's doing a vegetable. Bloody hell. That's, that's actually giving me a pain in my fucking bollocks. Thinking about that. A £15 baby. During the pregnancy, Helen had a big bump, obviously, and a few people asked if she was having multiple bambinos. Helen said, my bump was huge. I always had people asking if I was t- having twins. She says, no, I'm just having one big... Maybe it was twins. Maybe it was maybe twins. And he fucking absorbed it into one giant baby. Who knows? There was one lady at work who asked me a few times if I was sure it wasn't twins. The doctor tested me for gast... gast... gastinal diabetes. But they were negative. I can't even say that word. Helen, good luck to you, Hen. And to baby Celia, I hope you're all safe and well. Because that is, that is some fucking shift you've done, Hen. Jesus Christ. I mean, £11.5 is monstrous, but a £15.7, holy spirit, activate. That'd be terrifying, man. That would be terrifying. <laughs> You'd be worried that it's going to come out, like, fully formed. All right, what's happening, troops? We fagging, they go, £15-pounder, here we go, man, record breaker. Jink that's on his Tinder profile. Oh, that's his opening line at a dinner party. So tell us something interesting about yourself. I'm the fucking biggest baby ever born in the UK, mate. Ripped my motte shreds, my man. £15.7. <laughs> what a great claim to fame that would be. For all the people that are famous right now in the UK, all the fucking Love Islanders and the Instagram influencers and all these arseholes, why is it not common knowledge that the man who's the fucking heaviest baby ever born in the UK. Why is he not a celebrity? 15 pun 7, my man. Natural, squeeze me right out, mate. What a mess I made. 
<laughs> I've just spoke to my more since, man. Fucking what the mess. Holy smokes. Oh, <laughs>